What's up guys, Big Clive 34 coming at you today with this, this wonderful hoodie. Uh, actually, let me just do a shameless plug to my merch at bigclive34.com slash store. Anyways, now that that's out of the way, if you want to go grab a hoodie, that'd be cool. We have t-shirts, hoodies, long sleeve t-shirts, all kinds of good stuff over there. But anyways, today we're talking about this truck, what I have into building it, what it would cost to shop to build it, and what it would cost for you to maybe just buy something like this outright. If you guys appreciate the information within and gain any kind of knowledge from it, I would very much appreciate your like. So uh, you guys have actually been doing really well on that recently. Thank you for the likes and uh, everyone who subscribes. I really appreciate that. But anyways, let's just uh, jump right into this uh, this little turbo over here, shall we? So just a little bit of quick background. We are looking at a, if you haven't followed the channel and haven't been able to tell, regular cab, short bed, Silverado, 2000 step side. Um, it had some things that I wanted in it. It was a clean, rust free truck. The step side was something that I was actually looking for that's a lot less common. I like the body style. The truck has the 2500 front end on it. Just some stuff that I wanted that I probably overpaid a little bit for. Um, but I paid 6500 bucks for the truck to start off with. So just jumping off from that point, if you're looking at a budget minded setup, you could probably get something like this for 4,500 to five grand if you look hard enough as a starting point. So from there, we're gonna talk about all of the components, what the market value is of them. Um, I paid less because thank you to VS Racing. I have a partial sponsorship on all the turbo stuff, everything that has to do with the turbo kit pretty much, they helped me out with. All of these things that I'm gonna bring up are pretty much the new price. Everything that I bought for this truck almost, except for the trans and rear, which I don't have yet, but I'm going to ballpark estimate like what those things go for. Um, pretty much everything is new, minus that stuff, and the turbo manifold and the crossover, and I'm probably lying. I'm probably forgetting something, but I think most of these prices are right on what about you would spend if you didn't look all that hard. This is literally everything that's in this truck are going to be in this truck from the turbo all the way to the piping. And by the way, these turbos from everybody who I've ever heard run one, um, I'm not saying this because I have a sponsorship from VS, but because I, I wouldn't back anything at all for any amount of money if I didn't believe what I was saying. Just the kind of guy I am. I guess, you know, you could take that or leave it. But you get a lot of bang for your buck with these things. They're worth at least taking a look into. Um, so starting with the VS Racing Turbo, uh, the whole turbo kit, the oiling parts, um, you know, couplers, V-bands, all that good stuff, all the way to the cam, the springs, the valve springs, that is. Um, what I paid to do the injector decapping, one of like the most controversial thing I've ever done, uh, and getting those cleaned and flowed and tested out, uh, all the way to, let's see what else, um, you know, just little stuff like oil, filter, coolant, um, you know, the trans, the estimate on the trans, estimate on the trans, um, and the converter, uh, you know, wastegate goes with the turbo, fuel pump, all, everything, all the way down to the nuts and bolts uh, that you might have to pick up extra to make something work with your application and even the stock, uh, the metal stock that I used to mount this intercooler uh, with my dad a couple days ago. That's going to be a part of a future video though. Everything shouldn't run you more than 3500 bucks for this setup. Everything said and done for this truck my way without sponsorships and all that stuff would probably cost about 10 grand. So when you look at what you get, it's really not that bad um, as compared to some other things. And if you were to take all this stuff and stuff it in a Fox body, you'd probably have a nine second car. So we're figuring under 10 grand for this build. Now onto the part of what it would cost if I were to take it to a shop. And there are plenty of reasons to take your vehicle to a shop. People like screaming built, not bought. I feel a lot of times because they don't, they're just not confident in themselves enough to realize that there's more to life than building a vehicle. A lot of people don't have time. A lot of people don't have the space. And, and sometimes it's just like, if you have a Corvette that cost you 40 grand uh, for a C6Z or even like a C7 that's approaching $100,000 when they were new. I'm not sure I would have the confidence to work on something like that either and that I would want to send it to somebody who really knows what they're doing 
Whereas a truck that I paid six grand for with a motor that could easily be replaced for five hundred dollars, if it blows up, I, I mean, I put a lot of work into it, but it blows up. You know, it's it's not that life ending uh, of a deal. I'm gonna get grilled about this because I know people are gonna have different opinions. But for the labor hours, we're considering probably about $100 an hour if you could get someone to build one of these for you because I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but a lot of shops are looking for a layup. Like, if you were a shop owner, why would you take on something like this when you could just as easily fit in three or four cam jobs on brand new cars and not have to worry about this mess as it's old and screwed with and this and that? you would rather take the layup. So if you could get a shop to even work on something like this, I figure some of these numbers might seem a little bit high, but this is what I found on the internet. Uh, cam install job, maybe like eight to 10 labor hours, you'll be charged for, I don't know if it's actually gonna take them that long. Um, turbo setup, probably about five labor hours, maybe 10. Uh, fuel setup, another five labor hours. Trans swap, 10, maybe more. Um, Rear end swap, five labor hours. All the miscellaneous things like, um, I don't even know, fabricating brackets for the intercooler or other kinds of fab work or, you know, whatever. Um, maybe just like another 15 hours on something like that. So I'm thinking like conservatively 50 or so labor hours would go into something like this. Maybe 60. So if you're doing the math, um, again, Shops tend to charge a little bit more than $100 an hour, I feel like, when it's a good shop where you would want your vehicle to be that has a lot of work, uh, who might not be willing to accept this. So we'll just stick conservative with $100 an hour. You add an extra five to $6,000 conservatively in labor on top of your parts and stuff, which will probably also be marked up by the place that you're getting them from a little bit. So you're looking at, man, I want to say maybe like out the door tuned uh, with all the parts that you buy from them. You're probably going to end up paying f more for gaskets and everything like that. Uh, Sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars maybe it would cost for a shop to do something like this. And I'm not saying that it's not worth it, but if you go out and buy one of these things, about for the price that I'm building this, um, people put them up. You can find them. 11 grand for a decent one and it can go all the way up to like 20 grand depending on what turbos on it and all kinds of stuff but for this truck if i were to sell it which i'm not going to when it's done i would think maybe in the 15,000 range would be where i would sell it so i think that you could easily find a truck like this in the 15,000 range so i mean when you take it to a shop you know everything that's done to it and you know this and that it might be worth a little bit extra money to you, but you're kind of looking at building it yourself under 10 grand, getting someone else to build it, maybe conservatively 15, but I think closer to 17 or 18 would be real. And then buying one, probably mm, 11 to 15, 16 for a decent one. If you want some nicer stuff, maybe up to 20. Um, so that's just the general gist of, just the general gist of what's going on with this truck, how much it would cost to otherwise get built. About all that I got for you guys, leave a comment below. Let me think. Let me know what you think of this breakdown. Do you think I was fair on the labor hours? Um, do you think I was fair on all of it? So comment it, like it up, subscribe. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time.